Oh, hello. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hello friends, Pastor Daniel Govea here and I am reviewing today this wonderful, beautiful, amazing Bible by Thomas Nelson. It's another Bible in the uh, Premier Collection, but this time is a verse-by-verse -verse center column reference Bible. It's a Bible that many of us were waiting for. I was waiting for this Bible for a long time. I think I was waiting for this Bible even before I knew it would be produced. <laughs> so I really love uh, the layout. This may be one of the best candidates to become um, uh, my go-to Bible for many years. So we'll see about that. Um, so New King James Comfort Print. Uh, typeface you know it was designed by 2k Denmark European paper uh, 36 GSM paper three satin ribbons premium goatskin leather so it comes in this beautiful box um, the boxes of the premier collection are amazing they are very sturdy so here you have uh, the details and you can pause if you like it retails for whoo 189.99 I got it on Evangelical Bible 124 something like that this Bible has a lot of features that I really really love so we start with the cover it has it's a goatskin uh, cover and it has a beautiful grain to it it's not very pronounced but it is a pronounced grain you can totally see it I believe it's more pronounced than uh, the NIV heritage that I have here and also the the premier collection thin line Bible the first one that came out by by Thomas Nelson the New King James thin line uh, also more pronounced than the uh, single column uh, New King James premier collection that I had very flexible the cover is a little bit um, thicker than the other premieres that I've seen before this one uh, a little bit that's my impression and it's very very supple okay so it's very flexible um, you have raised ribs so this is new for the premier collection and these raised ribs are are very pronounced um, if I compare them to the Schuyler New King James uh, 28 GSM Quantel you, you know you have raised ribs or raised hubs if you want to call it but they are not as pronounced as these um, these are very pronounced and very beautiful awesome love it uh, one two three four five raised ribs and you have holy bible here and then new king james version thomas nelson no logo just the name of thomas nelson and then you open it up and my bible my copy has um a little problem in the guilt line as you can see it has guilt line is uh edge lined as well perimeter stitching and you can see here in the corners my guilt line is a little bit messed up 
So Evangelical Bible actually emailed me saying that the first copy they sent to me was not uh, very good. So they apparently they um, delayed a little bit the shipment like for one day. And then they sent me this one. But yeah, unfortunately the guilt light has a little defect. Um, but doesn't bother me much. So I decided not to return it. Um, the leather has some... Uh, I believe natural effects. I don't know. It's beautiful. I really emphasize the word classic, classic verse by verse reference Bible. I think the look of this Bible is very classic. Okay. It's very, very beautiful and, and very traditional. And I think it looks amazing. Here you have it. And it is a leather liner. Um, I don't know if it's calf skin and it feels awesome. And you open it up and you have this thick paper here this bible presentation page this bible is presented to by on and title page already in the regular uh 3060sm paper of the bible there's a little wrinkle here um and another title page now with thomas nelson uh logo uh on it and new king james so the holy bible containing the old and new testaments information page here so these bibles are printed in china and they are amazing that's what i can say table of contents and that's it preface just one page preface to the new king james version so a small abbreviated preface and then you get to the old testament so a title page for the old testament and genesis boom so here you have book introductions the the title of the book is in red and has a small like half a page not even that book introduction and then you have the text is a 10 point font the font is bold it's highly readable i've been reading from from this bible very readable i love the fact that the verse numbers are in red so center column reference and i love this i think it's very very easy to use so you, you know it's 72,000 references that is one of the reasons why i love uh, the reference bibles by Thomas Nelson in the New King James. Um, they're amazing. I love the translation notes. Um, you also have some references here in the corner of the page. Um, I was a little bit worried when I watched the initial reviews of this Bible. It seemed to me that there was not a lot of space in the gutter. Uh, I think it has enough space now. I, I would prefer a little bit more space in the gutter, okay? It has a little margin. It's not huge, but it's not as uh, ridiculous like the margin of the preaching Bible by Thomas Nelson so I really appreciate that they gave us a little bit more margin I would appreciate a little bit more a tad bit more but um, okay that's fine um, I won't make a fuss out of that so you see the book names on the top of the page in red as well and you have the page number on the center of the page on the top poetry is centered and letters or the Ten Commandments are indented. So here you have poetry and Job and Proverbs and in the Psalms, of course. Beautiful, beautiful. When you have poetry in this Bible, you have a ton of margin space. And even sometimes in the middle, the center column sometimes is not full. Ezra, look at this. When you have a letter, it's indented. Okay. Letters, it is line matched and uh, there's nearly no ghosting at all but, uh, yeah line match very very well done three ribbons uh two black and one red i love this um this red it is not very um bright here it looks brighter than it actually is it's red but it's a dark red you have two black they're double satin ribbons so double satin beautiful ribbons they're really long if you like ribbons these ribbons will probably satisfy you hopefully so they really did not put any uh, extra paper that wasn't needed in this bible look you come to the last page of the old testament and you, you have just one blank page so it's the back um, of the last page of the Old Testament and then you just have a title page for the New Testament with this cool design also like in the Old Testament and there you have it. You, have, you also have this cool design uh, separating the book introduction from the text. So you have here Matthew, red letter, 
for the words of Jesus. And yeah, that, one of my only concerns with the Bible is actually that, I don't know, I, in, when you have a lot of red uh, for the words of Jesus, if the verse numbers were like in black or all bold, that would make it um, even, the, the verse numbers would stand out even more. But they still are very, very visible. So yeah, it's not a, not a big issue and I normally when I underline I also uh, underline the verse numbers in a different color so they stand out to me. I believe this Bible is very very good for preaching because it is a verse by verse because the font is a 10 point font with a lot of space between the lines it's very very good for preaching. The only the only question the only issue I would have with preaching with this Bible is that the cover is uh, very soft. Um, if you don't have a huge hand, uh, of course, the sides of the Bible will fall a little bit. That wouldn't happen with the preaching Bible. Um, for preaching, maybe the preaching Bible is better, um, all things considered. Um, it won't fall so much. It's not as flexible. It's a calfskin. It's not as flexible as the goatskin of the verse by verse classic reference uh, premiere. You come to the end of the New Testament, so Revelation also has the words of Jesus in red. Beautiful, beautiful Bible. I, I can't say enough to express how I feel about this Bible. I haven't seen a lot of variation in the red, um, not like the one I saw in, in the Skylar New King James 28 GSM Quintel. There's a, maybe a tiny bit variation sometimes, but it's not huge. So it is not a very dark red but it's not very light either. So it's very very readable. So you come to the um, end of the Bible, last page of Revelation. Beautiful Bible, beautiful. So again, they really saved <laughs> paper because on one page, the last page of text of the New Testament, and then it's just a blank page in the back, and then no paper here. You have to go directly to the concordance. Now, this is a very good concordance, I think, for a Bible like this, a reference um, Bible. I think it has like around 164, 164 pages of concordance. So that's pretty, pretty good. It's really uh, a lot of material here that can help your study. And then you uh, you get to the end of the concordance, so this is page uh, 1649, <laughs> and um, then you have one, one, uh, one, two pages, that's it, so not, not huge, maybe, okay, three, three, and then the note regarding the type. Now, as for the other premieres, uh, New King James, I just, I love this note. I'm a Seventh-day Adventist, so of course a note that speaks about William Miller is always, always very interesting for me. I just feel that this Bible was made for me because I love it so much, um, like the other premieres. Anyways, so then you have eight Bible maps, and they're the Bible maps that we are used to from uh, Thomas Nelson, um, and they're very good. Uh, the paper is not too shiny. I think it looks shinier in the camera than in real life. A very, very good. Okay, so eight maps. Ta da! You can pause if you need to. Jesus' ministry. Yep. Paul's missionary journeys. Holding the camera with one hand. Okay, Jerusalem in the time of Jesus, and that's it. And then just one sheet of this thick paper, and that's the end of the Bible. So beautiful, beautiful Bible. Um, this New King James classic reference, verse by verse. Uh, love this Bible, but of course I'm spoiled by other premium Bibles that I have collected during these last few years. Now I have some of them here. In terms of the leather, um, I love this leather. It's very supple, uh, beautiful. Like I say for preaching, I prefer uh, something a little bit more sturdy, but uh, most of you guys probably just prefer really supple covers and this is it. Now if I had to go with a very supple, uh, very flexible cover, I would probably prefer the ESV Preaching Bible. It's a little bit thicker to my fingers and I think the grain is you know more pronounced and um, just 
feels better to me. I just love to touch this Bible. In terms of size, they're identical, but the Preaching Bible by Crossway, the SV Preaching Bible is um, thicker. Not much, but yeah, a, a little bit. I mean, it has this, yeah, yeah. The, the classic reference, verse by verse, Thomas Nelson, doesn't have that much of a yap, okay? It's a little bit, a little bit. I prefer a little bit more like uh, you have here in the uh, Heritage Bible, uh, NIV by Zondervan, also Premier Collection. Look at this yap, I love it. Size comparison, if I put it, not side by side, but on top of the uh, Preaching Bible, you can also have a, an idea. The Preaching Bible and the um, verse by verse classic reference Bible. The Preaching Bible is a little bit thicker, but not too much, it's just a little a tad bit. And uh, if I open this Bible, maybe you guys We'll be curious to see the differences between the font. Of course, in the uh, Preaching Bible, the font is bigger. It's a little bit bolder, maybe. Yeah, bigger for sure. The colors are different. You have uh, this blue here, or teal. Here you have red. Oh, I forgot to say, you also have the red under gold in the uh, classic verse by verse reference bible yeah it's not a it's not a like a crazy red it's just almost like a salmon and you have the gilding the gold gilding and yeah it's very well done okay shiny mm -hmm. okay and uh, yeah there's this bible is different from the preaching bible as you can see the center column references in the preaching bible you have them in the bottom like the scholar quintels i think i really like the layout of this bible although like i said for preaching this one has a more sturdy cover not as flexible and that to me makes it better for preaching purposes you know raised ribs here then of course maybe one of the main contenders for this bible would be the schuyler new king james um, 28 gsm um, it's a thinner Bible than the regular Quintel of 36 GSM. So this one here, the classic reference Bible, verse by verse Thomas Nelson, it's a 36 GSM and it's a little bit thicker than the 28 GSM New King James by Schuyler. Also the Schuyler has a little bit more yap. The pages are a little bit wider than the um, uh, New King James by Schuyler 28 GSM. I'll probably make a video comparing these two Bibles in detail. If I put the um, 36 GSM by Schuyler New King James Quintel 36 GSM next to or underneath the verse by verse New King James by Thomas Nelson, here you can see that um, the Schuyler 36 GSM is thicker than the uh, Thomas Nelson 36 GSM. And uh, yes, I also believe that the pages are wider. The Schuyler has a little bit more yap. I have this Bible for three years and the gilt line is flawless. And I just got this one and the gilt line is not as good. Anyways, that's probably not gonna happen in every copy. Yeah, the, um, the font of course in the Schuyler's is a little bit bigger, but this font is also highly readable and it's maybe a little bit bolder. So that's it. Um, if you are like me, you are really, really expecting this Bible, anxious for this Bible, and uh, I am not disappointed at all. I think Thomas Nelson did a great, great job. I love this Bible. I've already started to underline in this Bible, and I made some annotations, and again, like I say, I would prefer a little bit more space in the gutter. But still, I can make my little annotations here, no problem. I've used coloring pencils and microns and my uni lacubos and no bleed through. You see that I've underlined that I marked on the other side of the page, but no bleed through. I'm gonna make a little test here for you. And this is probably gonna be a very long video, but you know, you don't have a Bible like this every day. Crucified, oh, here, there you go. The name of my channel is Crucified for Me, so let's actually go. And in this page, I'm going to draw a cross. Let me see, we can see one, two. So this is just one time, no bleed through, okay? I know some of you are saying that I'm crazy, okay? But that's fine, I'm testing this paper. So I am actually, I actually went several times now 
and still no bleed through. Okay, that was about four times in the same place with my uh, red micron. Ta-da! So again, I'm gonna do a little bit more. One, two, three, four. So three or four times we are in the same place and Look at that, no bleed through, although you can clearly see the cross on the other side of the page, but no bleed through. Okay, so I used this Bible today for preaching. It went very, very well, better than I expected. Uh, I was kind of worried because, you know, the cover is so supple that it falls from your hand a little bit, but actually I was holding the Bible in my hand for part of the sermon and it went pretty well. The The font is very visible for me in the pulpit. And the fact that it's verse by verse, great. I made some little annotations and uh, some cross-referencing. I was preaching from Genesis 6. Um, I couldn't lay it flat all the time. I don't know, maybe because it's still new. Um, if I do this, it will go down, but sometimes I, I would hold it and then it would come up again. I think it's just because it's still new, you know, I'm breaking it in, but um, I loved it. Uh, I had already given a Bible class to some students with this Bible, and I also had a very good time. But um, today I actually preached a sermon with it, and it went very, very well. So if you're a preacher and you're considering this Bible for many uses, including preaching, well, I think you won't go wrong here. It's, a, it's an excellent option. Well done, Thomas Nelson. This is a beautiful, beautiful Bible. I love it. Thank you for making my life better. And I'm looking forward, I heard there's a wide margin coming, so I'm looking forward to see that. And God bless you, and if you have any questions, let me know. Bye!